One player forgot how to put on his jersey, another pooped himself on live TV. These are the top five most embarrassing moments in football history. In 2013, Zlatan Ibrahimovic had a game that was a little sus. PSG was up against Nice and had a three-game winning streak going, but Nice knew they had to do something to shake things up and get in Zlatan's head. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Just 10 minutes into the game, PSG scored a goal and never looked back. Zlatan was on fire and the other players didn't stand a chance. By halftime, Nice's Renato Civelli knew he had to take matters into his own hands. He made eye contact with Zlatan, mesmerized by his luscious ponytail and insane skills. Civelli tried to jump in on the action, but things didn't go as planned. Let's just say he got rejected harder than a job application after a spelling error. Embarrassing. Now Gary was already feeling the pressure going into this game. But little did he know, his worst nightmare was about to come true. You see, Gary had been having some stomach issues leading up to the game. And let's just say he shouldn't have had that spicy burrito for lunch. Despite his tummy troubles, Gary managed to score a goal early in the game and was playing like a champ. But as the game wore on, his stomach started bubbling and things started to take a turn for the worse. In the 70th minute, disaster struck. The ball came flying towards Gary and he accidentally let one rip. And we're not talking about a little toot here, folks. We're talking about a full-blown knock-you-off-your-feet stench so bad it could clear out an entire arena. Of course, the commentators couldn't resist making a few jokes at poor Gary's expense. And when he was subbed off towards the end of the game, he had to admit to the world that he had a bit of a stomach problem. Let's just say it wasn't Gary's finest moment, but hey, at least he didn't try to wipe himself with his bare hands and run off like nothing happened. Oh wait, he did? <clears throat> Never mind. Picture this, you're out there on the field, sweat dripping down your face, and the game is heating up. You're pushing forward, determined to score, when suddenly, BAM! You're on the ground, writhing in pain. But don't worry, because the medical staff is here to save the day, right? Well, not if you're my boy Leonardo. Back in 2015, during a game between Ergo Telles and A.E. Larissa, things were getting intense. Leonardo Kutris was on a mission to win, but instead he ended up needing an ambulance. And let me tell you, it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. These medical professionals were more like the Three Stooges, instead of carefully helping him up. They tried to drag him and slammed him down on the stretcher, not once, not twice, but three times. I mean, who hired these guys? DB Wonder? But hey, you know what you can do to avoid getting manhandled by these guys? That's right, hit that like button and subscribe button right now. Trust me, it's worth it. Now, we've seen some crazy things on the pitch, but Fernando Navarro takes the cake for the most illegal move of all time. You see, his team was fighting tooth and nail to make it into La Liga's top four, and the pressure was getting to him. But instead of taking a deep breath and focusing on the game, Navarro decided to take a little break and take care of business. I mean, come on, man. You can't just whip it out on camera like that. Think of the children. But hey, I guess when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? Maybe next time, he should invest in a stadium-sized porta potty Oh boy, let me tell you about the legendary flop that is Fahad Kalfin. Back in 2010, our boy was ready to make his mark in the Asian Games. With Qatar's team never facing off against Uzbekistan before, Fahad was hoping to show them what's what. And then at the 90 minute mark, something extraordinary happened. He had a chance to score a goal that would make him an instant hero and he blew it. But hey, I'm not one to judge. If I were in his shoes, I'd probably trip over my shoelaces and end up scoring for the other team. Unfortunately, Fahad's clip went viral and he was eliminated from the tournament. But that's not even the worst part. He quit football and disappeared into thin air. Hey, we all make mistakes, but next time Fahad will aim for the right goal. So there you have it. Check out these other videos and see you next time. Take care.